What up, y'all? This is your boy, Ant. I wanted to um, holler at you one more time because we haven't talked about this since New Year's Eve. And uh, the world has changed since then. And um, I get calls, I get text messages, and people are afraid. They're nervous, and they're trying to figure out how to survive during this pandemic. And how do we go about accomplishing our dreams and our goals? So when we talk back over... Um, New Year's Eve, we outlined a five-point plan of how to have the best year ever. It's 2020, and now we're almost into June, six months almost into the year, and the world as we knew it has completely changed. And so people are trying to figure out, if I'm not able to work, I'm laid off, I'm furloughed, I'm unemployed, but I still have these dreams. I still have these goals. You know, do I defer my dreams? Do I defer the goal? The same way that um, the world has de deferred all of my ambitions. And so what I wanted to do, if you look at the original video that was posted dealing with my five point plan, and that is to dream big, plan, get excited, stay consistent, take action now, so that because the world is is waiting to cheer your success. So I want to break down what that actually means so that even during this pandemic, you can still have the best year ever. It may not look like the way that you had originally intended, but you got to understand something. You have a goal. You have a purpose. You have a, a dream that still has to come into fruition. It still must manifest. Just because things look different in the world with the coronavirus and all that kind of stuff does not mean that we, we that you have an opportunity now to, to, to set aside that dream. No, that dream still must come into fruition. The dream is in you. Therefore, it is your responsibility. You have a duty. It is your obligation that you fulfill that dream. And that dream is specifically for you. It's not my dream. You see, I've never dreamed uh, or dreamt of, of being a basketball player. It ain't in me. I don't play basketball, so I don't dream about being a world champion. I ain't. I don't dream about being Jordan, LeBron, you know, Kobe, and all of that. See, that ain't my dream. But if that's your dream, you still need to bring that into fruition. If your dream is to own a business, if your dream is to start a ministry, to write a book, to sing a song, that is your dream and it is within you. So you have to bring it to fruition. So what, what does it mean to dream big? Dream big. Let, let's start with that. What, what exactly is a dream? Well, first, let's let's talk about what a dream, what it is not. A dream is not a wish. Is This isn't a wish. This is not something that you that you lay in the bed and fantasize about, that you, you know, that uh, you, 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 it's a pipe dream. No, 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 it's not something that you hope for. That's what it is not, it's not a fantasy. Let's use Martin Luther King as an example. And he wrote this speech, I have a dream. That dream was his, his purpose, where he saw, hey, listen, this is the world where people are treated equally, you know, we have civil rights. Um, people can have equal pay. You know, there's so many different things that were a part of the vision. Your dream is a vision. It is your purpose. It's your calling in life. You see, that's what a dream is. It is, it is, it is your goal. You know, what do I want the rest of the world to experience through me? What is it, the divine message, the divine calling upon your life that God has tried to express through you? This isn't about religion. This ain't got nothing to do with the Bible or any of that. But you are a spiritual being and you are operating in this three-dimensional reality that we call earth, the world. You're in this body. And so as a spiritual being who dwells within your body, your dream is trying to express itself through you. But I can't see your dream if, if, you don't, if you don't bring it into fruition. 
if it never manifests. I, I can't see it. If you have a book inside of you, I'll never be able to read your book if it stays inside of you. You, you got to put it on paper. You got to publish it. Sell it. Give it away. I don't care whatever you do. But I can't read the book until you bring it into fruition. That is your calling. And, and understand something. What you may have been called to do at 15 doesn't mean that that's the same calling on your life at 45. Now, if you're thinking, hey, listen, when you were 18, I want to be a world-class model, runway model, and there is no industry for you when you 50 right now, you know, it does not mean that you, you can't still be a model, but sometimes we have to modify. You know, maybe your calling at that at this stage in life could be, let me help other people achieve their goal of being a world-renowned model, or whatever the case is, I'm just saying. Your dream is your life's purpose. And to dream big means identifying that. See, you don't wanna live an ordinary life when extraordinary is within you. Why? Why settle for mediocrity when when you could be above, uh, 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 you, can, you could live a grandiose life. When you could do the things that you truly, truly desire to do. The fulfillment of your dream is freedom. It's freedom. And it's an example to others that they also can achieve their dreams. You gotta understand, you got children looking at you. Some of us at our age now are grandparents. <laughs> you know, you got all this hope and faith It's graduation season So all you got all this hope and faith In your children and your grandchildren To go out and conquer the world And you haven't So now the question becomes Now that your kids are grown What are you going to do when you grow up? It's time for you to grow up It's time for you to get out here Manifest the dream that is within you. And it is scary. I'm not going to lie to you. Your dream needs to scare the hell out of you. Because it is a divine purpose. And millions of people around the world are going to benefit from it. I'm talking on a cell phone right now. I mean, that was somebody's dream at one point. You all are tuning into my YouTube channel. And by the way, thank you so much for viewing this video, sharing the video, comment below, tell me, tell us, what, what is your dream? What can I do to serve you, to help you, to bring that dream into fruition? Comment below, tell me, what can I do? Let's start with the dream. What do you want to do with your life? And then let's identify why. Why is the fulfillment of that dream so important to you? How will the rest of us benefit from that? Let's talk about it. Share your dreams with us. And let the people that comment, let's all talk about this together. We are all in this. You're quarantined right now. We got time. <laughs> I do appreciate you for subscribing to the channel, sharing this video with your friends, with your family. And let's talk, this is serious. We're in a whole different world now. This is 2020. There's a pandemic going on. But there is still a divine purpose in your life. You still have the dream. My original employer, I'm furloughed right now. So hey, I'm not getting paid from my, 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 my employer. But that don't mean that I don't still need the money that my family does not still need the money that they depend on me for. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's the same thing with your dream. Just because the world is in chaos doesn't mean that we don't still need the fulfillment of your dream. So what am I doing right now? I've identified other things in my life that can help contribute to my household, to bring in money, I'm still making money. I'm still feeding my family. We're still eating. Our lifestyle has not changed one bit. As a matter of fact, it's gotten even grander. Let's use this time right now to identify the dream. We're going to talk about it and let's, let's strategize together. I'm here for you. 
and I appreciate you both. Me and Shira appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hit the notification bell and let's chat. Comment below. Let's talk. Dream big. For the dreams of the dreamer really do come true. Love y'all. Thank you.